once again, once again, we about to get into a reaction. All the way live. Aunt Glizzy talking about Jay Prince only pick on black people. Interesting topic. <clears throat> Interesting title. Let's get into it and let's see what he's talking about exactly. <laughs> recently went viral uh you know you had your opinions on jay prince mob ties um you know then other blogs picked it up i guess mob ties was coming to the dmv uh you know where where do you, where do you stand at now with, with that whole situation that was more so like when they came to dc that was more so clickbait it ain't like i'm beefing with them I'm a blogger. I just voiced my opinion. That's just my opinion. The Jay Prince guy, the era he come from, he might have could have did that or however he feel, but I just feel like in this generation, like I said before, they rob Martin Luther King, they rob Malcolm X in this generation like nothing is safe. If God had a Lamborghini, they'd steal it. Like, no <laughs> one's safe. The I respect yeah. this. I respect that. Young guys don't respect nothing. Your respect is they got to see you do it, like physically, not visually. Like, here you did it. No, you got to really do it. So they got to reactivate the active car. Because I know some young niggas that don't even know who they is, and they just to see the big chain and just take them for bad. Wouldn't care about all the nonsense they're going to do. Nobody cares. That's how they live it. I'm just. Hey, that's true. <laughs> <clears throat> they can be so thirsty, they can just go. <clears throat> try to steal something, they gonna steal some shit and shit be fake. Or, like how he's saying, <clears throat> dudes don't have no respect. The respect level is, you know, <clears throat> you feel me? I remember when I was younger, if you did something and the shit was some straight bullshit, you was getting DP for, you was getting checked. Something was happening, some type of repercussion, you know, some type of repercussion was gonna happen. These, these, they don't have repercussions no more. That's why they so wild. And then with the help of social media, social media could be a good and bad thing as always, but with the help of social media, it makes this generation in particular more ass backwards because a lot of them utilize it, but a, I think a, a, a vast majority of them don't utilize it. They just do all the drama tell on theyself, uh, do shit that they ain't supposed to be doing online where they get themselves in trouble on some street shit. They record every goddamn thing. You like, you know. So, I don't know. Different day. But, uh, I get what he's saying. I get it. So, I say, if you the mob, the mob didn't call themselves the mob. You knew they was the mob. Like, you know a mob boss. Like, you know what's going on. It's like they too advertising the mob to not be locked up. In 2023, if you are openly active mob boss, you police. You got to be the police. You some type of something. Ain't no mobs going on in 2023. I'm just saying, and mm -hmm. they only bully our culture. I swear, this is not even nothing to them. They only get into it with, like, our culture, the black rap culture. They only try to control that narrative. But the day they got into it with the cocktail, Jay Prince or Jay or the something, they wouldn't be running around here doing no interviews. They'd be hiding everybody. They would not do that. Oh, shit. Sure. They only do that because it's all set <laughs> and what he got going on. And that's his people's. Let them grieve. If somebody checked in with, with me and they passed away and they family feel some type of way for the rest of life, that's what I got to deal with. I can't. God damn. Ooh. That one hit hard. Okay, let me elaborate on that. Me being on the internet, speaking from a third party, because I'm doing a reaction. What I can say about that is, a lot of times what happens is, we do attack our own culture. Because I said this before, we have this dominance thing. You see a black dude, right? This is going to sound fucked up because it is. You see a black dude, you might stare him up and down thinking, where is he from? Or who is this nigga? Or he think he hard. Just a bunch of negative shit. 
I've done it in my past. I don't do that no more. But yo, 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 because it's the way we grow up. Yo, your reactions is always negative. I'm talking like, oh, look at him. <clears throat> and you want to hurt him nine times out of ten. A white boy walk by, unless he got that little racist vibe to him. But other than that, if you're just a regular white boy, you're going to just look at You ain't even, you ain't even pay him no attention. Like, you're a fucking ghost. That's that slave mentality that we all got embedded in us and we have to get that shit out. Some way, somehow. Get that slave thinking, mind, mentality, swag, attitude, lifestyle out your system. That's what that is. Can't stress that enough. Yeah. I, I cannot have an ego that I feel like I can speak on it, brag on it, nothing. You just got to take that. That's a real gangsterness. Somebody died in your hands. No ifs, no ass, no buts, no talking yourself out of it. Deal with it. Even if you got to bite the bullet, because they biting the bullet. So I just feel like it's more so bullying and all that. And everybody just like, yeah, money went on wars. Money can get you. But that shit don't mean that. Yeah, ain't nobody you can really check in. Like, Say if Jay Prince be like, okay, Aunt Glizzy, I'm going to get you. I don't care. Just put his old ass on the list with everybody else. I got a couple of uncles just did 31, 32 years in jail. They poke the shot that old ass man. Like, nobody cares about that. Like, I respect his word and all that. It's just like, stop trying to be a bully. I respect him as being real. Like, I respect him as being real, but it's like he overdid his real. Now he just, he trying too hard. You've probably... Damn. I think that's some shit right there. He said he's trying too hard. So I guess they've been going back and forth. Um, this this whole this whole angle of this inter this clip of this interview was a lot different than what I expected. Actually, they didn't really dig into the to me. They didn't really dig into the core of the issue. It just seemed like some internet shit. And me, I don't get into all that too, too much because a lot of that shit be like, nah. y'all niggas just ain't here talking shit. Like, it's not, I don't know. I don't know, man. But, you know, the original thing being with the interview, the title and all that, that's what caught my attention. But then it seemed like, it seemed like the whole interview went left field if, to me, you know. Should have got more to detail about how he uh only pick on black people or whatever, but uh let me I'm I'm gonna get into more detail about how not him in general how he only pick on black people, but just all of us, since we all do it. I'm not gonna point no fingers. Like I said a minute ago. We, and it's not like that everywhere. Cause when I go to certain states and places, it's a lot of love. It's just certain areas, mainly in the ghettos. Mainly in the ghettos. You go to certain areas, all the black people cool with each other. They love each other. Hey, brother, how you doing? I like being around them kind of brothers. Now, the niggas, they like to be fucked up in the head and starting shit. Because the niggas and his brothers, which one you going to be? You know, we all niggas, but you got to be a brother, though. You know? Because the nigga ain't shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, that part. So, we got to learn how to be brothers. Brothers, brothers, brothers. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't even get to detail it. I'll be talking for that forever. Other than that, man, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. You know, hit the notification bell one time. Stay positive. Get your money. Do your thing. And most definitely have a blessed day. Until further notice.